On a new build today, when I do a new build, I like to call out everything. I mean, absolutely everything. I, I think it drives the builder a little nuts, but we try to get as close as to perfect as we can. We know the house will never be 100% perfect, but we try to make it perfect for the clients. All right, let's go check it out. After we started on the outside, we headed up the ladder, and I noticed right at the top of the flashing that there was a hole right through. This wouldn't cause any immediate damage, but it would show up pretty much right away, right after a rain. Heading around the exterior, we find this on a lot of new builds where the fiber cement board or hardy plank, whatever you like to call it, it's cracked and not properly installed. Right here, you can see where it's loose and then it's actually broken right underneath this uh, mechanical exhaust vent. Both need to be corrected. Even in our reports, we even write even the minor stuff such as the small paint defects. We try to get everything we can for the client to make it a perfect house. One of the biggest issues that we find <laughs> with new builds is, is poor drainage around the structure. Drainage needs to have be six inches over 10 feet or just a bare minimum of a 1% grade. But how you really identify if there's poor drainage is that there is standing water over 48 hours or if you have algae growth. You can see right here that we have algae growth and this will lead to a number of issues. This is one of the things that you wanna keep an eye out for a new build. This is not a cheap fix. I'm really sure, not sure. <laughs> I'm really not sure what they're doing here. Tape is not a good fix for a trim piece. This is not a permanent fix, temporary fix. It's wrong. Let's just, let's just, it's just wrong. Going with uh, that we identify everything, we like to even identify the sol sidewalk in front of the structure. We know it's not related, it's not home inspector related, but we document everything we can, especially with new builds and the sidewalk is cracked. Two things that we noticed on this, this lower roof as soon as we got on it is that there's some mortar improvement needed. That's not something that we would have been able to see from the ground. Also, it's an easy area where you're going to get water penetration on your property. The second thing that we notice is that there's a straight line of holes through the fat, through the roof covering material. This is an easy area for water to penetrate. What this comes from is actually whenever the brick people come to install the brick, they put a one by two down to keep the brick from rolling down, take that tack out, and then they never fix the shingles. So this is another area where you're gonna get a water leak on your new build property. My favorite thing to do on new build inspections, I do this just for the builders. I give all my clients blue tape. I know that was uh, some good fun and games, but really in all seriousness, this really is a good time for you to take an another look at the property, get all those finer details taken care of, and then also for us to find the major defects for you. Today, we actually found some really good stuff. If you have any home inspection questions, please give me a call and please always like and share the videos.